What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front, and if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step walkthrough. Today we're going to show you just how easy it is to add an image gallery to any site page. Stick around! I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd, I like maple syrup, all my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, let's get that timer rolling. Let's hop to it. All right, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have that page and you're gonna go ahead and edit that page so that you're in edit mode because how else you're gonna edit and make changes if you're not in edit mode. And you're gonna plus and you're gonna go look for an image gallery. You're gonna add that bad boy. You can add a title, whatever. I'm gonna say, where do I want some images? I'll go with default options, just add some images. We're gonna go to the site. We're gonna go to site assets and see if we got a folder named photos. From there, we're just gonna select everything. Just drag a window, select, boom, 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 republish. And you did that thing. Woo. All right, let's just slow it down a little bit and talk about what we just did and dive into a whole bunch of nooks and crannies as it relates to image galleries. If anybody out there is still actually using them, um, I don't know. Maybe you are, maybe you're not. Nevertheless, why does this keep happening? Hold on. We're refreshing. I don't know why that that's weird. <clears throat> okay so we're gonna just go back to zero we're gonna just pretend like there was no uh gallery up in here and then we're gonna go and as you're adding web parts you just look for that plus you could search for image if you wanted to and there's image gallery and then it could be helpful to add a snappy title and Oh, there we go. That's that's how we change the uh, the location. So we click the plus. Um, well, here let's just add some images. I, I because I was wondering how do we uh, once we have images in here, how do we switch? And it looked like I needed to make another web part to do that. So let's see what happens. We're gonna republish. All right, and let's say we need you want a different set of photos here. We want to pick them. So can we go add like another, so I click add, and then let's say, oh, let's say I do that. Is it going to replace the other? Oh, it just added them. What if we want to get rid of some? Can we delete them? Cool. There you go. So add more. I'm going to go to the site and site assets and see, is it going to add things multiple times if they already exist? I mean, yeah, so you'll have to be careful of that. Uh, but let's say you're not happy with this particular layout. Oh, before we leave this layout, <clears throat> with this particular layout, you can move things around. Uh, so there's a couple more things I want to show you here. You can move things around accordingly. Okay. Uh, you can add title and caption, but notice that, uh, you're not going to see anything here, but you will in a minute with a different, uh, template. Uh, and you can use some accessibility language for folks that are not able to see the image. Um, okay. And you can mark it as decorative if it's just curly border or something like that. There's one more thing I want to show you here. If we go back to edit the web part and choose the aspect ratio. 1, 1 square, 16 by 9, or 4, 3. Notice it will crop things if they are in like 916 or, you know, portrait, etc. There's that. Now, I think that exhausts all the different possibilities with the grid. So to recap, we can move things around. We can add accessibility language. And we can change the aspect ratio. Uh, before we move away from here, let's talk about the different option here for uh, select images or dynamically display images. So uh, let's say I had a doc library where I was storing photos and I wanted all of those uh, images from that library to be included here. Um, and if I change the files, you know, they would change accordingly. So I go to dynamic and I'm going to select from document libraries that live on this site. We're going to go to site assets and four images in selected library. So that 
would be all of the images that are at the root of the doc library but if I want to include subfolders click on include subfolders and then we get all of this happy jazz and it is maxing out here at 10 oh there we go there we go there we go look at that we're just maxing it out I think you just keep going what can we put in a hundred okay looks like 30 is the max oh wow look at that that is amazing so 40 nope there we go okay now I think we have truly maximized all the different stuff you can do with this uh, initial default grid moving on to brick all right look at there very nice we got this brick layout here okay let's see what can we do with this one here uh, let's select an image can we move things around well I am not seeing very much of anything that we can do not a lot going on here uh, you can change the number uh, but it just lays it out in a brick pattern automatically nothing you can do all right next carousel let's see what's going on with the carousel so we go down here and we've got automatically cycle through the images turn that on or off and then how fast do you want to zip through those puppies okay look at there we just zip zap zapping or you can slow it down to 10 seconds so anywhere from 2 to 10 seconds and when you get the thing looking the oh you know what we got to go back we got to go back to something here okay um we need to go with a smaller number of images here okay so we need to we need to add that title so we're going to go back um this is spinning pretty fast and let's just turn it off to see if we can get now i was going to see if i could access the title and all that jazz from here but I do not believe it's going to let me do that. I'm going to have to go back to a different layout. Um, so we're going to go back to grid. Back to grid. And why am I not able to edit these? Okay, in order to add the uh, the titles here, uh, so, so that they show up, the title and caption, so they show up on the image, you've got to go back to select images. Then you can edit and add in your title and your caption now that we have it added here i'm going to go ahead and switch over to a layout that's actually going to show me that information so there we go so carousel will show it let's see what brick oh, brick does not show it grid does not show it let's change the uh, aspect ratio and see if that makes a difference no makes no difference you got to go with the carousel if you want to be able to see that information. All right. I think we exhausted all the different stuff you can do there with the image gallery. If you find something that we didn't cover or want to know more about something, let us know in the comments. Please like, subscribe. Thank you for the support. We appreciate you. Do the very best you can with what you got. And remember, SharePoint rocks and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup on my pancakes. I don't care what you heard.